What's up? This is Kaya from Mini PC, and for over a year now, our content creation team has been producing short videos about our products and services every single day. Occasionally, gumagawa din kami ng mga long-form videos like this. So na iipo ng na iipo yung mga video files namin, and now we need a better way to store, secure, and backup our files. Kasi hindi nashay efficient sa workspace namin, and ilang beses tari kami na susunugan ng this kung saan nag-edit yung mga editors namin. So we decided to finally get. Kaya naman, napaka-perfect timing nitong pagbisita sa amin ni Asus Store. If that name sounds familiar to you, that's because they're from Asus. Natagdagan lang ng store yung dulo ng name nila to represent their products, which are storage solutions like this. The only problem is, I actually know very little about NAS or even ASUS Store bago nila kami binisita. Buti na lang, napakaraming tutorials online and even ASUS Store has their own NAS College online sa kanilang website. And the demo where we can test out yung mga natutunan natin. So, NAS machine sa tons of things it can do but we're just gonna cover the basics and easy to understand features ng product. Just to help you decide if kailangan mo na rin ba ng ganito. So with that in mind, let's start with the question, ano nga ba si NAS? In simplest way of explanation, NAS is like a cloud storage and a local storage, but kind of better-ish. It's connected to your network, so any PC or any devices that's connected on the same network can use its services. Except wala kang babayaran monthly or annual subscription fees. And hindi rin limited yung storage capacity niya dun sa plan na binabayaran mo. Need mo pa rin maglagay ng disk drives, but at least you don't have to keep paying to access your own files. Para din siyang mini PC but with less PC-like features so it has its own CPU, RAM, and even its own OS. As I said earlier, we're gonna explore some of its features as we go through this video. The next thing you need to know about NAS is it's an investment. The upfront cost of getting one can vary from costly to super expensive. Depende sa model na kukunin mo and capacity ng disk drives. So ang madalas na mga kumukuha nito is mga video ko First, photographers, mga small businesses or mid enterprises. Although some use it for home use, para gawing digital album or a streaming server, para sa mga collection nila ng mga movies. Yung presyo nitong ASTT 040 natin is nasa 23,400 pesos. Hindi pa kasama dyan yung mga disc na ilalagay later. Anyways, let's take a look at our product. Within this packaging, my smaller box that holds the charging cable and the 90 watt charging brick. Isang LAN cable that's about 1 meter ang haba, some screws, and a quick installation guide. And then over here is our NAS. The as 3 has 4 bays na pwedeng gamitan ng 3.5 hard drives or 2.5 SATA SSDs. Kaya may kasama siyang screws. Each base can support up to 18 terabytes of storage capacity, so up to 72 terabytes in total. It features a super fast 2.5 gigabyte Ethernet port, which is really useful kung may 2.5 gigabit Ethernet din yung modem nyo. Kasi karamihan nasa 1 gigabit lang. Meron din tong tatlong USB 3.2. For specs, it has a 64-bit ARM-based quad-core CPU, which is the Realtek RTD 1296, a 2GB DDR4 memory, and 8GB of flash memory. So, itong model ng NAS natin can be considered as a home NAS since mababa pa yung specs niya to cater to a more sophisticated business needs. And what I mean about that is, I don't know if doable bang mag-edit directly from this NAS. Kasi it only has 2.5 gigabit ethernet port and I've read somewhere that you need at least 5 for video editing purposes. Especially if maraming mag access ng data simultaneously. Kaya for now, magiging storage and backup mo na to ng aming mga footage and editing assets. One of the features na hina-highlight ni Asus Store sa kanilang mga products is the ease of usage. Kaya naman, pwede natin tong set up without using any tools. For this specific model, aasin lang natin tong front panel na nakamagnet and then hihilain mo lang tong tab pa nga to unlock the SATA base. By the way, yung mga ilalagay nating hard disk dito ay apat na 12TB Ironworld Seagate NAS hard drives, 7200 RPM and 100TB per year workload limit. So that's 48TB in total. That should last our small video and graphic editing team for a long while. It's worth mentioning then that Asus Store doesn't actually have a proprietary drive, kaya pwede mo tong lagyan ng kahit anong brand na trip mo. Just make sure na it's a hard drive for a NAS. So, 
Sa ating PC, install muna tayo ng Asus Store Control Center. So, we can get the installer sa support section ng Asus Store website. So, hanapin lang natin yung model and then download. From here, super straightforward lang ng installation. Pagtapos na, open mo lang yung Asus Store Control Center app. And here's how it should look like. So, over here, dapat makikita mo yung NAS device na nakakonect sa same network sa ating PC. If hindi siya lumabas agad, just click scan or double check kung nakakonect ba talaga sa same router yung iyong NAS. So, next thing we gotta do is activate our NAS so we can access its OS. So, click lang natin tong uninitialize and then magbubukas siya sa ating browser. We're just gonna skim through this para tipid sa oras. Meron naman na kami din ginawang tutorial for this if you wanna watch that first, go ahead and do so. Balik ka na dito later. So, since we set this up as RAID 5, meron tayong magiging isang drive parity. If one drive fails, pababackup pa natin yung data na laman nun. But since, since there's one drive that's acting as a backed up, instead of 48 terabytes in total, mababawasan yun ng isang drive. So, meron na tayong either ito, 32.73 terabytes of data in total. Marami naman na yun. Starting initializations, hintay-hintay lang natin yan. Ayan, tunog ano na siya Chatunog electric kettle. So next, ayan, tapos na siya mag-initialize. Next, we gotta register our NAS. And for to do that, we have to have our own e-store ID. Meron na kami existing, pero if wala pa yung sa inyo, sobrang dali lang din niya gawin, parang nagla-login ka lang or nag-register sa Facebook. Okay! We're now looking at Asus Store's own OS, which is the Asus Store Data Master or ADM. So before I give you a mini tour, share ko lang. You can immediately use this NAS, but if you set this up as an array, like we did earlier, I suggest na tayo mo na magsing siya before ka magtransfer na mga important ng files or data. So para malaman mo kung tapos na bang magsing yung mga drives, punta tayo dito sa Storage Manager, and then titingnan natin dito sa Volume. Right now it's synchronizing. It's 13 percent. Tignan natin kung ganon siya katagal magsisink. 1.9 days, so that's two days. Sinking speed is quite normal sa gantong model. Pero kung gumagamit ka ng model sa naka SSD, mas mabilis. Anyways, let's do a tour. Let's go to App Center or App Central, I mean. So dito sa App Center. Let's just press agree, and then just skip through that muna. So, bukod dun sa apps na meron na tayo dito kanina, pwede ka pang magdagdag galing dito sa App Central. Meron sila both proprietary and third-party apps. Download tayo ng Clam AV kasi sabi nila, added layer of security daw yun para sa ating NAS. Let's install that. And then, Flex Media is paid apparently, pero meron dito. Uh, media server si NAS na free. Ayan yung looks good. Ayan, download din natin. Installing. There you go. While waiting for that. So, we have the activity monitor which is parang yung uh, task manager ng NAS. And then, we have backup and restore. Dito sa backup and restore, you can create SMB uh, or FTP backups. It also has a feature where you can back up from USB to NAS or vice versa by just pressing this button sa harap. They also call this on-the-go files. Ayon, yung tawag nila don is on-the-go files. Kasi by just pressing this button, makakapi na yung files from the source location to your destination or don sa yung flash drive. So very convenient, very easy. Okay, para naman ma-access ang ating NAS remotely or using the internet. We need to enable Easy Connect, and we can do that dito sa settings. Once it's enabled, we can access our ADM through browser or through mobile apps na available for both Apple and Android devices. So, ito yung itsura ng mga mobile apps for the Asus Store NAS. Balik tayo sa apps or features na meron dito sa Asus Store NAS natin. This Asus Store NAS comes with four free camera licenses, meaning you can connect up to four surveillance camera dito. So, and you can use it to view the footage live and store it. So, may da download ng tayo app dito sa App Central, which is the Surveillance Center 3. Ting beta version niya. Or yung pinaka latest, so install na din natin. So, they also want me to mention another 
Asus Store exclusive feature, which is the Asus Store portal, where you'd be able to browse the internet or stream videos without using your PC. Just install the Asus Store portal galing sa control center and then plug your HDMI from your NAS to a display. And then boom! and sun smart tv unfortunately itong model na to wala siyang hdmi port pero i think available yun sa mas higher end dalang models like the locker store nebo store and flash store speaking of other models pag-usapan na rin natin just in case you want other options so meron tayong yung locker store which has base for an m.2 ssd and 3.5 hdbs next is the nebo store which is essentially the same as the locker store pero mas gaming focus yung features niya. And then next is the flash store, which is an all-flash NAS, kaya puro M.2 SSDs lang yung nakalagay. Super fast, pero super dan yung price. That's it muna for this vlog. I know I skipped a lot of features ng NAS, but aside sa ayaw ko masyadong humaba yung video, ayaw ko rin mag-pretend na alam ko yung sinasabi ko. So, pag-aralan muna natin ng onti pa. As for the performance itself, ayun nga, need muna natin hintayin na mag-sync yung ating drives. Pero so far, ang snappy gamitin ng ADM, medyo may learning curve lang talaga siya for first-time users like me. Oh, baka skill issue ko lang yun, I don't know. <laughs> Pero the tips, tutorials, and guides are readily available online. And most of them, madali lang sundan. Hopefully, pwede kami mag-edit directly from this NAS. Pero ayun nga, sabi ko kanina, I've read somewhere na you need at least 5 gigabit internet speed to do that. Pero I think para lang naman yun sa mga 2K or 4K quality videos. Eh, ang mga ine-edit lang naman namin is mga video shorts and then ATP like this. So, gato na lang. Gawa na lang ako ng follow-up video after a few days of using this. But for now, I'm looking forward sa upgrade na magagawa niya when it comes to storing and sharing our data. For pricing, according to my research, Asus Store, especially yung family ng model na to, is a little bit cheaper compared to other brands when it comes to the specs. So, ito pala yung complete cost ng aming NAS setup. Again, this can vary from model to capacity ng storage drives na ilalagay mo. So, if you're interested in getting this one or yung other models na binanggit ko kanina for your business or personal use, pwede kayong magpakot sa amin sa UniPC or head out to our website. Both the unit and yung HDDs nga pala, yung Iron Wolf NAS HDDs natin, has a 3-year warranty period. Again, this is Kaya from UniPC. Kita-kits sa next videos.